good morning, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, good morning. Let me just read some messages here. Peter has his new trading cockpit organized and set up. Good for you. It's about time. <laughs> High performance desktop monitors, all capable to run all software. You're excited about 2015. Wonderful. Me too. And guess what? The market's capping up. Hmm. Uh, let me just see if Ken is here. No, Ken is not here. Ken emailed me yesterday about another drop in the market about the, or is it two days ago? You know, am I sure the market's higher? How do I know the market's higher? We'll go over this later. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this now. We'll, we'll go over this when we're done. Infy's a good gap. Uh, Infy. Uh, this is what I'm doing today. This is good. It's a news gap. There's only one situation. Uh, actually, I wish this was down more, but this really needs to go like like immediately. In ideal world, how does Infi set up? Opens, sets up immediately, drops. That's it. No rally. Uh, kind of easy today because there's only one gap that rates well. I did put this in the list. I didn't do anything with it, and I'm not going to rate it, and it's not going to rate good, and there's nothing to do with this. Um, WDFC, I did rate. Does, you know, it's right on the cusp. This does not get over 20 points. It's right on the cusp. I can have it up. No volume, huge spread, expensive price point, and doesn't rate over 20 points. No, I'm not going to have it up. It doesn't make any sense. Um, pod was the other one here. I did rate this. This does have volume. It's barely moving. Again, this is on the cusp too. Let's just, well, I'll put this in the middle. I, I want to put two things up today because I just feel like it. Or I could put JCPenney up again. JCPenney never got over $8 yesterday. Never got over $8 yesterday. What do you want me to do? I'm doing Infi. I'll watch another thing and call it. I'm only doing Infi, though. You want me to watch Pod or JCP? You decide. Right now. Right in the room. What do you want me to do? And we'll go over JCPenney in the market later. And I'll tell you what I did yesterday afternoon. I'm going to watch two things. It's either Pod or JCP. I'm only doing one myself. But uh, Cruiser wanted me to look at FDO. <sighs> I'll do that in a sec. All right, I figured. And I put the numbers in the room for Amphi. Uh, this is, is there's nothing here. What do you mean? Why do you think this is going to sell off today, Cruiser? I I, I think this is just. It, it did have earnings, and it is gapping. 78.45. This is like... The only way this is going to work today, Cruiser, if this opens and just crashes through the floor of everything in the planet. If that does that with volume, go for it. Otherwise, this just looks like it's basically neutral here. I mean, I know it is essentially gapping down, but it basically looks like pretty much neutral. It's got a, this would have to swoosh. If it swooshes, go for it. We could almost just put it up just to have it as a, as a thing, just to see if it swooshes. I could just keep this over here just to see if the thing swooshes, actually. <clears throat> but that, 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 that is how this has to do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Uh, Tony wants me to do pod. Well, I can't have four things up. <laughs> My main one is Infi. I'll put the JCP in the middle. You want me to watch the pod? Target's 40. This is very spready right here, though. This really has to have enough vol uh, volume in it to get into it, and the spread has to thin out. I don't like the GWPH spread. I just talked about that. What are you going to do with this here? It's Could this set up as a short today? Yes. Do I think it's going to be easy? No. No, I don't. And yesterday was one of those days where it wasn't easy. So let's just give ourselves an easy day here today. 
Easy peasy breezy. Infy, boom. Or buy the market. I'll look at any bullish gaps that got 10 minutes. I didn't really scan for any because I have a good bearish gap here in Infy today. I'm going to put the JCP back down here. And Sonic has no volume at this morning. You really just can't even do anything with that until it gets volume. Uh, Cruiser, watch the Cruiser, watch the WDFC if it swishes, and just plop it in the room and tell me if it does. Any longs anybody wants me to look at? Let me just look. Oh, I know. APOL had no volume. APOL. Now it does. Give me two minutes here. I'm going to look at this. Just, we're, you know what? I'm probably going to have this up too. Here. This, the, I thought that was weird this morning. It had no volume. Actually, hold on. I'm putting APOL here, JCPenney here. That's, we're watching APOL. Let me rate this. I'll be right back. Just give me two seconds. You know what? I have the two watches here today. APOL and the, whatchamacallit. Let's, I'm glad I just remembered this. APOL and Infi. Let me just do the numbers for this. I don't know what I'm doing here today now, because APOL could work as well as Infi today. I'm going to have them both up. No reverse wishes today. Boom. That's the rule anyways. I'm just reminding everyone of that. We talked about that every day in the month of December. Every single day we get up. Every day I would say it. We have to remind ourselves every day again about the same thing today. Let me just figure out the targets for this. And, jeez. I'll tell you, there's one common denominator in every uh, bearish gap today. Does anyone want to guess what it is? One common denominator. Anyone? Well, <laughs> low volume is correct. I wasn't thinking that, Brett, but you were right. <laughs> You are, you are right, but that's not what I was thinking. Guess again. <laughs> Something else. Something else. <sighs> no. Look at the numbers I put in the room for everything. Here, I'm going to put APL's numbers in here so you know. What's the one common denominator? 
squares. I only did numbers for two things. Well, let's just look at APL and MP. I know. Well, I am off sugar here this month. I am like eating like a perfect angel. And when you do, when you like totally wipe carbs out of your diet, no alcohol, no sugar, no nothing, I find that you're more tired. I just have to drink more caffeine. I started January 1. Seriously. All right, okay. So there's one common denominator for APOL and MFE, and actually the GWHP, but I didn't put the numbers in the room because I'm not doing it. One common denominator in all of these two of the ones I like and a few others, but we're not going to pay attention to them. They all have to go immediately. Actually, they all have to go right away. Actually, I said that about FDO, even though I didn't read it. So, yeah, there's the common denominator in every single bearish gap today. FDO, APOL, INFI, GWHP, POD, I don't remember if I thought that about this one. No, POD is not in the mix. But the rest of them, common denominator is they all have to go right away. This has nothing to do with the market. This is the way that they are setting up. So actually, that should make for a nice quick plate or move today in everything that we do that sets up. So what we're going to do and how we're going to play it today because of the market is out of some of the position into the first drop. I don't care if you take a quarter out, a third out, a half out. I don't care what you do. I have no idea where the market ends up today. It is going to rally. I don't know what time it sets up and then all the big... Uh, the actual move that the market makes today is going to depend on actually how aggressively it rallies into the open. Uh, but I'm not going to watch it. You could go long aggressively in the market today. You, you could do that and give yourself two shots. There's no chance of failure in the market rallying today. It finally gapped up and did what I thought it would do like the last two days or whatever. And here it is, you know. <laughs> so basically, although this didn't really, this, this well, we'll talk about it later. All right, okay, so Infi is my top watch today, and APOL, APOL, Infi and APOL, and they're both going to have somewhat of a spread. Uh, APOL spread is larger than Infi's, so I'm going to keep Infi up in the main one, APOL is here, and the JCP I have over here just for so, never got over $8 yesterday, can't go over $8 or I would short it. I mean, it's a day trade, I'm not talking about long term. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? I mean, real quick, just give me one second. Just pop your questions in the room. All right, any questions from anyone before we actually get going here? Look at the nice volume and empty. You're good. Be careful if you do that pod on your own, Tony. It's it just it has the volume, but it's barely moving. Okay, good luck everyone today. Let's have a really nice day. We'll go over the market when we're done. JCP and stay away from Sonic unless it actually starts to get volume. And then we'll review the trades from today and look at for tomorrow. I figured the busiest days this week would be Thursday and Friday. And actually, earnings season starts Monday with the AA reporting. <clears throat> so... Time to get back in the groove here. 
Good luck, everyone. I have no idea what this Brighton MP is going to be. Everything I'm watching is a short for trial people. I'm not doing any longs today, even though the market's a long. <laughs> Ten cents, MP. Come on, go back to three pennies. <sighs> Dream target in MP day is twelve. Okay, nothing yet. There's nothing to do yet. APOL is starting to sell off. JC Penny, JC Penny just shorted and put the stop over eight dollars. Eight oh five, just shorted, put the stop at eight oh. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not doing that, but you could do that right there. Jeez. Ay ay ay. I'm not doing that though. Here, APOL, 85. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just a dollar. You could, you could, I, I, no, it's too late. I didn't call this here exactly, and this is, just wait. This is a dollar stop now, I'm just seeing here. Just, just lay low. Wait for this to reset up. APOL is setting up now, but the stop's too big. I'm taking this off my screen here. Just JCPenney, you could just do it. I didn't have time to call this. And now that I see it, it was a dollar or something. So just don't, just relax. Actually, let me reset these things up. This will give another entry, APOL. And Infi can't go over 15. So let's just see what happens here. Infi cannot go over 15. And APOL, uh, I didn't do anything with because it just went too quick and also the stop was too big. I'm guessing the other thing didn't swoosh cruiser. Man, this is going to be a big stop, but I'm doing it. 70, let's do, uh, the stop's going to be 45. Stop's going to be 45 in APOL. 45. I don't have the entry yet. It's going to be at least 50 cents. 45, 28.45 is going to be the stop on this as of right now. I'm in APOL. Or I'm not in APOL. I'm looking at APOL. Wait on the infi a minute. Back now, let's put it at 50. It's going to be 50. Stop's going to be 28.50. This is not going to be a small entry. Let's do 90 by 50. 90 by 50 APOL at 60 cents. 90 by 50 APOL. 90 by 50 APOL. There, there. I'm taking it out. Put the stop in. 28.50. 28.50. That's it. APOL. 28.50 is the stop. You can take it. This is a big stop. And the targets I had, the target is 26. 26 is in sight. APOL. That this is better than a dollar something, which was the original one. This is this, this is it. This is what it is. Uh, stop is twenty eight fifty. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. We're gonna get out of half of this into the first drop in the break. Let me look at the market. You could actually. Well, I would just leave it. Let me just look at them. No, forget Infi. Forget Infi. Uh, J C Penny, you could have done. You could have done this. Did anyone do it? Jeez, Louise. Here, man. I hope everybody got it. I hope everyone got it.
This is better than the original entry, which was way too big of a stop. And actually, this is, I mean, this is what it is. Here, let me just look at, here, pay attention. If this breaks to 27, I'm out of half. That could actually happen here like the next two minutes. And if it gives another entry, I'll give it to you. But it's already had two, so. No, it's going to roll right over. Here it goes. APOL, hand in the button for this to get out of half of this soon in here. Let it go. Let it see if it keeps going. Thank you, market. All right, here we go. See if we can get it down. What did I have as a number? 27. I had nothing before 27. This is going to get to 26 today, though. Dream target and site for APOL today, but I'm not holding the whole thing down in there. And let me just see where it did go. 53. We do have to watch 50, I guess. You could take some off right now. I'm going to see if this holds in here at least to keep going, though. You could take some off right now. You could. Market. You can buy the market in the spy and put the stop under 204. I will put it at 203.90. Buy it. There. This is late. And you can buy the QQQs too. Put the stop at 101.95. There. Run all day. Here. I'm in this. The market's so long though. I just, just take it and put the stop where I told you if you want it. And if you should have already done it actually. Here we go. Breakthrough 53. 50, here. APOL. This is it. This is it. Half out of this. And you know, honestly, the market, crap. If this breaks through 27, I'm all out of it. Here, if this breaks through 27, I'm all out of it. It has a two, six point something, something, something. I don't care. I'm taking the whole thing because of the market here. Let's just see where this goes right into the next reversal time. Here it goes. Beautiful call. It's going to break 27. It is. It is going to. Oh, come on. You can do it. Here, now I just took half out. I just took half out of it. Let's put the stop back in at 28.50 and see if we can get it. There, I just got out of half. All right, I just got out of half. It's, the market is just too crazy, but I still have half. All right, let's just see if we can lower the stop. No, I don't think we should. I'm out of half, I just took it. We, 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 this is, uh, oh, that was a good decision, look. All right, okay, I'm out of half of that, and you let the rest ride. Uh, let's look at the market here. No, I just, I would leave Infi alone. Don't, don't, don't do anything with that. I should market myself as a short queen. <laughs> would that be too... Uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm trying to think of? I can't think right now because I'm not eating any carbs. <laughs> um, what was the other one? JCP. JCP, please tell me somebody did this. Diane couldn't get it. Look, look, look. Look at this, people. Beautiful. $7 is a target in JCP today on its own. Doesn't matter what the market does. Is this setting up again? No, it just had one green bar. Don't do anything here yet. I just got out of half of it. Let it let it be here. It's rallying into the reversal time. FDO? FDO looks like a piece of crap. FDO is not breaking the way we wanted it to. Remember, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to go and crash to the bottom of the floor, into the open, in the morning, with volume. It didn't do it. The market's rallying. Let it be. And you don't take it. And you just don't take it. Now, let me just see where this went. 40, let me just see if there's something here that I missed. No, I just bounced off that. And I don't think this is done, but you just gotta, you have to wait. There's nothing to do but wait. I'm not crazy about this. I'm really not crazy about this now. This didn't do what I wanted to do. I'm not crazy about this and no, no. I said it had to hold 15, and I said the same thing about FDL, and neither one of these things that we're supposed to do, don't talk yourself into something. There's no reason to talk yourself into anything. Everyone should have done this with me if you want to do anything, or go law on the market. Go law on the market if you're desperate for a play, and no one should be desperate for anything because I just called APOL. And this is still good. I mean, this is a good stop in this. 35, 40 cents or whatever it is to buy the market here. Where I can... Market target today is even different than I said. It's even, it's, it's even different than I said. The target's even bigger than I said for what the target is. And I don't have time to look at this now. But it's bigger than I said. Here, here, here. You could get right back more into this here. 
78, but the stop still has to be 28.50. I'm just keeping what I got. This is not a day to go nuts with shorts. You could reshort uh, APOL right here and put the stop at the same place though, 28.50. This is going to break 27, though. Here it goes. Let's get this done quickly, people. Quickly, 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 so we can be out of this short and let the market run all day. Here we go. Here it goes. This is falling through right now, but I did get out of half before. That was the right thing to do. You could have gotten out of the whole thing. Brett, what did you do? Brett, did you take it all out? Take half out? What? What did you do? This is going to break 27 now. There's not. This isn't going to go down to the low of the day and just go boop. This is going to break it, and it's 40 cents from breaking the low. This is going to be a nice trade. This is a nice trade. What am I saying? Brett, you're still in it? Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. I don't even know who you are anymore. I took half too, and that was the right thing to do. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about, people. Under 40 is a new low, an APOL. Let it break. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I thought of this at the last minute. I was like, wait a minute, I thought that would do that. And I thank goodness I remembered this at the last minute because Infi didn't work out right. Well, We'll get out of this soon. You can go back to bed. 2740. This is wild, though. That was the right thing to do. The bounce on this could have been. So, I mean, it did have a bounce, but it could have been bigger. I was expecting it to be bigger. Beautiful. I mean, this is gorgeous. Talk about gorgeousness. Look at this. Look at that market. No, nope, don't do anything with this. What did this do? No, nope, don't do anything with anything else. Beautiful! Great job, everyone. Let's stay with some of this. APUL is going to break 27. Let it ride, people. This is a nice trade. And there's nothing else to do today unless you want to go on the market. Everything else is a piece of crap. You shorted JCP. If you got that, beautiful. Okay, you could get out a little more here, but I think it still keeps going. 941. You could take a little bit more out. If you didn't take any out before, you could take a little more out if you want to. I'm not. Here. Here it goes. Should I market myself as a short queen? <laughs> Buy one of those crowns. One of those crowns like they sell at uh, Charming Charlie's. One of those little ballerina crowns. <laughs> there, that's the that's the website. Here, here we go. <laughs> Under, under 30, let it break through 30, 25, 27, 10, APOL. Good job, Brett, for holding this today. Congratulations. New year for you to start holding. Did I even rate this gap? Yes, I did. <laughs> here, here it goes. Tony's like, thank you, Melissa. You're welcome, Tony. Tony, I didn't even look at the pod. Here, hold on. Hold on one second. Here, I'm going to take half out of his bounces at all of the half I have left, which means I'd still have only a quarter. Because this is, look, this is too much going on here now. Hold on. I still have the half in total, but if it boops over 30-something, I'm just going to quick get out of half. There, there, I just took another half. Uh, hold on. No, stop has to be 28.50 for the rest still. Well, this is life. You just got to do what you got to do. And then it doesn't matter what it does now. I don't care. <laughs> All right. There, that's it. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, please tell me somebody bought the market. Please. Did anyone buy the market? Anyone? Anyone at all? Frank shorted APOL. Tony is in the APOL. And here, here's an idea. You could put the stop back here. You could put the stop at break even. You could if you want to. I'm not, but you could. George is on the market. Great job. Beautiful. All right, let's look at the targets for the market today. They're way different than what I told you. They're so much different now. It's not even funny. Well, 103. 103 in the QQQ, which I did say, that is the target for the market today, and it's going to get there. No chance of failure and 100% conviction, which I pretty much said about the market and have been saying. But the SPY. The SPY is a whole different other story. And oh my, Lanta. The target for the SPY today is 207. Uh, 206.50, 207, this is not a dream target. This is a realistic target. This is a realistic target for the SPY today. So there you have it. 
Beautiful. Dave is long since he opened. Great. Okay, here, look at this. Woo! All right, that was another good decision. So 26, 26, 27, I mean, 27, 26 is low. I still think this continues down or I would have just gotten out of the whole trade. If you did get out of the whole trade, that was fine too. Market is bullish today. This was a nice gap, but I didn't say we should hold anything to any dream target today. Okay. But the, what we have left will make it worthwhile if this actually goes and breaks 27. In fact, if this does go and break 27, I think it goes to 26, the whole number. I think it does. I had 26, well, I had 26.80. Let me do, scroll up and look what I had. All right, J.C. Penny will give another short entry, but I really think the best one was out of the gate. Diane, would you have done it if you had gotten it and not APOL? Let's look at the Sonic. Well, look at that today. Well, what are you going to do? This is the thing about life. There's the Sonic. Look at it. Look. Are you talking about J.C. Penny? J.C. Penny, you were filled at 55? I thought you said you couldn't get it. So you did get it, and then you got it late. Just keep the stop where it is and ride it then, and try to make, try to add back in then at a better price. APOL again, this is really, I would not, this is so far past our entry price, but you could do 56, stuff's still got to be 2850. 56 by 2850, it's a dollar. I'm not doing anything else in this. Actually, we, we really need to get at everything by 10 o'clock. All right, let me look at Tony's pod. <gasps> I didn't even do anything. I forgot about this. Here, to Tony, did you do this? I totally, completely, 100% forgot about this. But it looks like this was really weird and thin in here. So I'm not sure what I would have called in this here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do the JCP or anything with that today, Lawrence, because because I like to do new gaps. But look here, this is working. But this is almost at the target. Okay, did anybody do anything else? What did the FDO do? No? Cruiser, I hope you didn't touch it. Did anyone do anything else at all? I hope no one did anything with Infi or FDO. Again, this is let's just go, let's just remind ourselves here. You go and you look at something. First of all, I didn't rate FDO. I didn't like it. But the fact is, you look at something. It still has to set up. It still has to set up. It still has to set up, right? You still have to know what to look for into the open. Here we go. APOL. Here it goes. And what did I say this morning? I said, everything is a very similar thing of everything I said today. And this isn't always the case, as you know. I said, everything today that I looked at has to go right out of the gate. What did that? The one thing that we did. So this, this is where it really, really helps not just to know the gap rating, but it really, really helps to know how the gap is supposed to set up on the open, which is when you're going to take the trade, because you're not taking the trade in the pre-market. And I knew what these things had to do today. And this is the only one that actually did it. And it's working the best. Here it goes. It's going to break another new low. You could have actually stayed in the whole thing down here, but that would have been crazy with the market. That would have been, that would have been not conservative. And look at the Sonic. You have got to be kidding me. Target is on its way to the next target of $80. Look at that. Saw that yesterday afternoon. I was looking for stuff. Beautiful. Going to be a lot of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful longs this year. Really beautiful ones. Here we go. Here we go. APOL. APOL. Under the new low of the day. 26. Here we go. This is it. This is a trade. This is my day. This is my life. After it breaks this, I'm all out of the whole thing wherever it goes. That's it. And it has to, it has to break it. There's nothing else to do except for you went on the market. And you could have shorted pod, but that was like, mm. You already did the AOL, IPOL is like, why would you short the pod? And, you know, it was tough. 
Don't try to talk yourself into doing something out of desperation. And there's no desperation. There is no desperation. You don't need to be desperate. If you get up and there's nothing good to do in the day, you don't do anything. Well, this hasn't broken yet. 15 minute looks good though. Look at this. And there's going to be like a bazillion, gajillion things to look at. Like I said, Monday's earnings season starts, so it's just, just we're just going to do the stuff that's good. Did anyone not do this today? Certainly hope that that wasn't the case, but. I tell you, this is a continuation for tomorrow. This, 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 again, this shouldn't have gone over 15. It did. This was a news-related thing. Markets rallying today. This is a, Diane, put it on your list for tomorrow. Trade a girl. This is, you know, this could be a watch for tomorrow, for real. Just like JCPenney was today. You could reshort JCPenney right here. I would still put the stop over the high of the day, 802. 802, 803, you can reshort JCPenney just right in here. 25 cents, take it if you want it. Target's still $7. This could break into reversal time past 10 o'clock. This is kind of on its own here, basically. Today you did your first trade of the year. Went long in the market and did APL twice. First to get out at 27.49 at 9.35. Two minutes later, you reshorted it at 27.93 and got out at 27.30. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome, Braulio. Braulio, I know you emailed me. I didn't have a chance to read it yet. I saw it. A couple people emailed me. I've just had so much going on this week. I haven't ignored, I'm not ignoring anyone. I just haven't had time to get to emails. And I know there was something you were going to tell me, but I just, I didn't have a chance to read it yet. Uh, five minute here on this is under 35. The only thing you could be in all day is the market, basically. The only thing to be in all day today is the market. You want to, if you're long the market, you could hold not the whole thing, but a portion of it for the entire day. <laughs> Dave's saying the markets are screaming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you could be, here, I'm telling you, the spy target today is insane. It's insanity. Spy target today is $2 from here, and it's already been running up. Spy target is $206.50, 207 The targets that I gave are, like, completely, I mean, it ended up gapping up more than I even thought. So, I mean, the targets are in this are just huge. You could, you could, it once, once the spy hits on, I don't, I don't know if the spy is going to go immediately through 205. If it does, it's just going to just power trend all day. But I think the market's going to pull back when it hits 205. And that might help this get going some more here in the morning. Uh, but you might have a chance to go along and get in the market on a 15 minute. Dave B says, great. Call Melissa off to work. Have a great day. You too. Have a wonderful day. Now, we are going to go over a couple of things. One thing we're going to go over is the market because Philip was in the market as an overnight and killed it. And I'm not sure why you killed it. There wasn't doing anything wrong. And the thing is that, you know, when you make a decision to take a trade, whether it's a day trade or a swing trade or a core trade, you need to know what it needs to do to be right, which is the reason you would take it. Otherwise, you don't take it. But you also need to know what it needs to do to be not right. Like if the reason you took it is because of X, Y, Z, and then that reason is gone or invalidated, then you have to exit it. I, I have that saying. I have it in the trends class. If the reason for taking the trade is invalidated, you need to exit the trade. If the reason that you take the trade is invalidated, you have to exit the trade. There was no invalidation in that the reason you took that market long was not invalidated. It was still in play. Even though it may not have looked what the way that you wanted it to look, Everybody wants everything to go immediately quick, fast, and in a, a vertical line that's straight up or down, but that's not realistic, and that's what makes trading challenging. That's why you have to learn how to do it. That's why you have to learn how to do it. Otherwise, I mean, come on. There'd be nothing to know. Here, look at this. Here we go. New low in APOL and 10 pennies. This is it. Into 10 o'clock. Let's just quickly take the market. I should have gone on the market and shorted APOL. But you know what? After yesterday with, you know, 
it's like, I really, it's, it's, I gotta be honest with you. I do like to short. I love to short. And then it's even more challenging for me if I'm doing two trades and one's long and one's a short. It's like my brain almost can't, my brain is like an overload then. I'm telling you, like, it's better if, I'm not saying you can't go long, go long, but I'm saying it is so much better if you are just doing, uh, you know, one thing and then you're in that mindset for the day, whether it's long or short, and you pick the best thing and you do it. And, you know, I just like to do shorts, but I'm saying like, I'm not, I'm not saying we're not going to go long this year, obviously. And I said, we're going to some things, but it's almost like, you know, if I choose to go long, then that's it. I'm long that day. That's it. I'm not doing any shorts. I think that's what was in the back of my mind yesterday. Here, here this goes. I'm telling you the way that your brain works, it's like, you just got to make it the easiest that you can then, because then all of a sudden you don't see things as clear as you normally would. Money and stops. You should be sizing yourself with the maximum stop that I give in the swing trade letter, Philip, because of the fact that it's an overnight. The maximum level of support and resistance that I give is how you should be sizing yourself for the trade. And if the maximum level is hit, you will exit it, which didn't happen. But that's not how you need to size yourself. And everyone should do that because taking overnights, you're at risk. And you're at risk, why? Because something could gap. You, you take the person that you are as a day trader, if you want to do overnights, and this is, you know, the person that you are as a day trader, if you want to do overnights, oh, this didn't break the low. Hold on. Let's just pay attention for two seconds. I just want to make sure nothing's happening here. It's wrong. No, it's all right. The person that you are as a day trader that takes these aggressive entries, which are not aggressive because I know exactly what we're supposed to do. So this is, I'm not, I'm not going to say that anymore. It's not aggressive for me. Anyways, the, the fact is that the, the entries that you're taking, as quickly as you're taking them on the day trades, when you do the swing trades, you have time to situate yourself and figure it out. You're not like, you don't have to make a split second decision. So the day trades, you have uh, the longer term trades overnight are different from the day trades because you have more time to think about it. But, you know, you have to size yourself for the maximum level because you have to like be very, very conservative. You have to be so conservative that it may not be something that you want to do. And for people that are ultra conservative, swing trading is actually good for them. They have time to think, you know, and they're taking less size. It's the same principle, same philosophy, same strategy, but it's like you have to be very conservative. You cannot take the same amount of risk in a swing trade as you would in a day trade. You're giving it the biggest stop you can, and we don't do that in day trades because we don't need to, and it doesn't make any sense, but it's different for swing trading. All right, here, let's see what this, I mean, you could put your stop at break even. APL didn't break the low. I still like it. It's almost 10 o'clock, but it did not break a new low. You could have, you could have get out of this. I mean, I'm just telling you right now, I don't know if this is going to break the low now. It should have broken the low right there. It is reversal time. I still like it. I understand how this stock moves. I think it's fine. But I'm telling you, if you're getting nervous or sweating the bullet, you could just take it all out. You're up. I think a market's going to pull in somewhere in here around 205, but that's like 30 cents from here, but there is a chance it could just blow right through it. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised what, <sighs> crap, should we just put the stop in this at break even? Here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put it right at 28. 2805. I'm putting the stop in this. It's not break even, but it's pretty darn close. And that'll be my day. I just moved the stop in APL to 2805. I just put it a smidgen, a smidgen above 28. The original stop is 2850. I just put it a smidgen over the whole number. It's not that far from the original entry, you know, which I actually hit it before it hit 90. I got filled at 92. I think I, you know, this has got to continue down right in here at 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to live with it wherever it goes. And I'm up on the day. Oh, you killed it just to get out by 10. Well, it's not 10 yet, though. All right. Great trade this. Thank you, Cruiser. All right, let's go over. What do you want to go over? You want to go over this first to the market? Is any is anybody in anything else? Oh, look at this. See here? Well, let's see. It's got to hold. It has to hold 28. Use the trailing stop. Okay. 
Let's go back to the JCP. So this is fine. Diane, did you get back in this? We still have what you have. Uh, look at this. This is fine. You could be in this. It's going to be a slow grind down all day, though. And this is pretty much an all-day trade to try to get it down to break the low again. Under, it has to break 750. Actually, if this does not break 750, then uh, just get out of it. Then that's it for the day for this. We can watch this again tomorrow. Okay, let's go over that. And then just to review before I go over yesterday afternoon, make sure you... I, I would I would definitely load stop in this. I'm just telling you FYI. I wouldn't keep it at 28.50 now. I really, I really wouldn't because of the market and because of the time of the day. So and because it didn't break the low. 28.05 or break even. I really wouldn't get nuts here with this. Okay. Yesterday I did bring this up, but I said it wasn't that good. And actually there was no morning play in here. This was the mu. But I found this end in the afternoon and was able to do it. And this is not something I would normally do, but I was searching, 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 and Mu actually did run up into resistance here. Brett saying, what did I do yesterday afternoon, which I hate to trade in the afternoon, but I felt compelled to do so yesterday. I was looking for, still looking for gaps. Mu actually had a jimongous rally, jimongous rally, but it rallied up to resistance here. It was resistance on the daily chart and resistance on the 15 minute, and it actually did have a setup. And it actually did have a move, and the stop was not that bad. And I felt like I was either going to scalp it or do something, and actually ended up having quite a nice move in here. So I did do this in the afternoon, but it is, was still a gap. This is not something I would normally do, though. I was bas it, was, it was basically a daily chart play, to be honest with you. I basically did a daily chart play in Mew in the afternoon. But I took the entry on the 15-minute. This is not ideal, but I just wanted to show you what I did. And it did sell off into here. But then, see, it couldn't get going. It couldn't get going. And a flat line here. Why? Because it really was not a good gap in the day. See that? Look at this today now, though. Are you talking about JCP? I'd give us some time here. I'd, I'd give us a chance to break again in here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a catastrophe on this. There's nothing wrong with this. And this is holding. Uh, all right, so let's go over what we did here. So I saw this, and I, I started to call it, and I'm like, wait a minute, no. And I saw the stop. It was over here, and I, I was like, no. And I didn't even give you the, the stop. I, I, I screamed out the entry. I didn't take it at first. And then I was like, no. I saw it was more than a dollar. I was like, eh. But then I moved over to it. This is a good call in here. This was a really good call. This was a good call because the fact is that this really was the setup in here. And... I'm not even sure what I called in here or what I would call this. This is just, I just knew what it needed to do here, basically. Anyways, then it broke. Then it rallied back. Then it could have taken more. Then it dropped. This still has not broken 27, actually, now that I'm seeing this here. Uh, so we did the right thing. I mean, we really did the right thing with this. I have a piece of this left, which whether it fails or doesn't go or goes is doesn't even matter anymore because of the fact that I'll be up no matter what today. So here's where I have the stop, like very tight in here, like a smidgen. It really just can't go over 28. So some of you did it and got all out. So we did it again and got all out, and that's fine. I do think this resets up again on the five minute though, but the stop's going to be big. Look at this market. Wow. All right, any questions about APOL from anyone? Anyone at all? Any questions from anyone about APOL? Slow start to the year here back on Monday, but this is life. Our earnings season doesn't start till Monday, but actually there were some good plays this week. Coors was huge this week. If you did every trade in it or held it, huge. And some of you didn't do any every trade in it, and some of you did one and got out, and some of you didn't hold it, and some of you did. But, you know, again, I said... This year, this whole year, the whole calendar year, when we get something that's good and it sets up and it rates 20 points or more per the Golden Gap rating system and sets up the way that I say that it has to in the morning and it goes, are going to play out. They are not only going to play out, they are going to move. They are going to rock and roll. And, and that's it. So you do them. <sighs> it's like simple. So that is how it is. And then there'll be days where there isn't anything to do, and then you don't do anything. Or you could do a long. And actually, the year has already started out like that. And it's not even earnings season, but 
You know, earnings season is going to have a lot of good things, but there still might be days in earnings season where there isn't a good quality bearish gap, and then we may have to do a bullish gap. But I was thinking about this after yesterday. I'm like, you know what? If I decide to do that, then that's it. Then I'm not doing a short and a long. And this is just me, my personality, what I, just the way my mind works. I just know it. Here, this is still going to keep going. Yeah, this is going to break. All right, here's the market. Here's the market up here. This is here's a reversal time. Let's see if the market cannot get over 205 right now. People are going to try to short this. Can I just tell you how insane that is? Someone will try to short this at this resistance at 205 on the 15 minute in the spy. Someone will watch it. It's like insanity. This market isn't going anywhere but up. Anyways, that little bit of a move will might help this a little bit more here. Uh, so that is, you know, this is, we're just, we're just going to have to be very, very focused on what we do in reference to the gaps, but I'm good at doing that. I think though, I'm implementing a new thing where I only do one directional bias, which is usually 99.99% of the time down short 53, you could short some more in here. I'm not doing it. Style has to be right over 28, 50 cents or thereabouts. It's just fine-tuning your brain to know what to look for. And if I'm honed in on what I'm supposed to be looking for long, it's or if short or whatever, it's just, I mean, this is how I got good at doing shorts. This is why Dave said I should call myself the short queen because... You know, I'm really good at seeing these things. And not only that, knowing what they're supposed to do. Like this didn't, this, this was not supposed to do this. This was, this isn't right here. This isn't right and it's not going to break the low. It's just, you know. It's not right. So this is what I did yesterday afternoon. And I was hoping for a dollar, but... It was, it was still good play, even though it didn't go to a dollar. It could have. It might have. All right, anyone have any questions before I talk about the market? Does anyone have any questions about anything at all before I discuss the market? Well, no. Spy isn't going to come in at all here. It's going to try to get over 205 right now at 10.06. It's going to try to blow over 205. If it does, the market will power trend all day and may not even pull back till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The only entry was a one-minute high in the market today. Look at that, people. Man. Well, hopefully everyone read the email I sent out two weeks ago where I gave a whole long thing where I wrote about the market. Look at the, look at the start to the year. This is it. And tomorrow is Friday, but... Just say, just when you think it's all over, boop. And this is how money works. I mean, this is why you have to understand how to read institutional positioning because this is how it works. We just talked about this the other day. Every time you, it's like the Godfather. Every time you there think you're out, they pull you back in. No, it's not true. They're always there. They're always there. If you know how to read it, they're always, 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 always there. Everyone's, everyone's now panicky, panic, 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 panic. I wasn't panicking. I said this isn't doing anything wrong. I was like, whatever, and, you know, any second, any second, this is exactly like, this is doing exactly what it should be doing. This is like exactly, this is like actually a good gap. And I said you could have been aggressively long the market today. And I said you got to give yourself two trades. You could have aggressively long the market today. Market gapped up, gapped up, and opened it, opened it a whole number. Open a 2401 and rally is going to power trend all day. Perfect. All right, tomorrow the econ is... Woo! A million things. Boy, is the market going to hit the ground running now after today. 8.30, 8.30, 8.30, 8.30, 8.30. Non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate, everything. Everything out tomorrow morning at 8.30. Whoa. The market is going to hit the ground running now after today and then the econ out tomorrow. It's almost like it doesn't even matter what the econ says. The market is going to run today and tomorrow. It doesn't even matter what those reports say. Any excuse now to run, the market will run. Good news, bad news, no news. BBBY is out tonight. We'll take a look at that. Price Smart, Ruby Tuesday. 
All right, here we go. APOL, this is it. This is our day. You still could be in some of this. I am. Let's see if it breaks 27. If it doesn't, I'm still out getting out. It's 10.09. Any questions from anyone else? Trader Girl, did you not do APOL? Did you not do APOL? Or did you do APOL and JCP? I hope that you did APOL. I really hope that you did. Here this goes. New low of the day in APOL under 27.26. Did anyone not do this? I don't know why you didn't do it. Everyone should have had it. Boy, this is real skill here today, people. This is working actually so well because there's not that many traders that are shorting this. And why? It's down for six days and a big gap down. And when we're out of this trade, we'll talk about this chart. But I'm probably the only trading room that called this short today, actually, now that I just look at the chart here because I know what people are looking at. Some people would have bought this today, if anything, in trading rooms, or just not even shorted it because of the daily chart. There was a good gap. Uh, under 26. Come on. You could have done an ad there, but it's so far from the original price. And it's too late in the day. <sighs> yep, here it goes. Here it goes. APOL. It's going to break 27 like I thought. Here it goes. Under 27, 26, a rush of APOL. You could have actually stayed in the whole thing and put the stop over 28. Yeah. I just didn't feel like doing that today with the market, but you actually could have. If you actually did that, you were still in the whole thing. Look at this. Here we go. New low. Oh, let's not get piggy. Look at that. Look at that nice rubber band in the daily chart. There it is. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. Look. You. It's still going to break. Any questions from anyone else at all about anything? Everybody is so quiet. If they're so quiet, it's like, am I talking to myself? <laughs> Trial people, do you have any questions? You couldn't get out of this whole thing there because it didn't break the low, but I still think it does. And at this point now at 10, 11, since I'm sitting here and sitting and sitting and sitting, I may as well just stay with it. All right. There's something just as important as the entry, really. Well, the exit's important too. If you if you if you get in great, and I'm referring to Phillips, you know, overnight in the market. If you get in great, you have a perfect entry. It's working, you're up, but you have a terrible exit. It can make it can take away from everything beautiful that you did with the entry. So it's like, I don't always talk about the fact that it's that important because, because I think the entries are harder to get than the, than the exits. I think the exits really are easy for most people. I think they're actually the easiest part of trading. But, you know, the fact is that most people don't know how to enter correctly or what to look for, which I do. But even if you do everything I tell you with the entry and, and picking the right thing, if you, still, if you screw up the exit, it's, you know, it's just as important, really. Because then you could be up money and then not be up anything, or be up money and then actually be down. <sighs> double bottom in this, I think. Yeah, basically. You could get out of this and just double bottom. I just saw it now. I'm not. I'm not because the risk that I have left with the piece of this where the stop I have it is worth me holding it here. But I'm just letting you know that you could be out of this entire position, and some of you are. Uh, let's go over the stuff for tomorrow or tonight. Anyone have any questions? Before I talk more about uh, the market, let's just quick do a thing of a roundabout here for tonight. So I just want to look at some of these ones. Uh, these all report this evening. Too thin. Too thin.
Baby Lee Why is too late. This will be really interesting to see what this does tonight. I, I don't know where this what this does in the earnings. Hmm. Okay, here this is gonna break. Here it goes. Let's pay attention. I'm not sure BBBY reports tonight, and I don't know if it's gonna gap up or down. I can't say. Here this goes. Please just do it hurriedly. Um, TCS. Let's look at the other one here. So far, only watch for tonight is BBY. This can be on the list. It's a little thin, but this is too thin. This is too thin. This is too thin. This is fine. Uh, this should have volume, even though it's thin today. Okay, here's the watch list for tonight. Okay, Lawrence, are you all out of this? You're welcome. Are you all out of APOL? Hopefully you did it and you were good. Oh, you never got in? Oh, Lawrence. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, be ready to go tomorrow. BBY is going to be in play. I just don't know what it does. You can look at it tonight because the earnings are out tonight. Well, Lawrence just didn't take it. It did set up fast, but then I did give the other entry. I know it set up quickly, but actually not as quick as some of the ones. He just didn't even press it, Trader Girl. Be positive. Turn that thought around. I want you to write a positive statement in the room right now. Trader girl, I'm talking to you. Turn that thought around right now. Every thought that you think creates what is going to happen to you in the next moment. Listen to what I'm saying. Every thought that you think creates the next thing that's going to happen to you. You need to have the positive thoughts going round and round in your head. If you did not get APOL today, okay, don't be thinking negatively. Earnings season starts Monday. BBBY is out tonight. Why don't you put it out in the universe? Here, let's all do it. We did this one time before. When did we do it? We did it. I forget when we did it. When did we do this? Oh, we didn't do it on a specific stock. We did it on, remember, we all did this in December. We said we're going to put it out there that somebody's going to go to the dream target tomorrow. All right, let's do this right now. I want, we're going to write now 30 30 seconds, we're going to have 30 seconds of silence, and I want everyone right now to focus and concentrate that BBBY is going to gap down tomorrow and be a fantastic gap. 30 seconds right now. Everyone focus on that thought. BBBY is going to gap down tomorrow and be a perfect, fabulous golden gap. Right now, 30 seconds, starting now. I actually put it out that it would swoosh because the stock swooshes every time it gaps down. Let's see if it works. Power of thought. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, and you the stop above the 15 minute bar. Oh, that's a good idea. Basically, you could put it right at 90. Probably believes it will be a profitable year. Yes. 
there are 360 days left in the year or something like that. You didn't want to take a second entry and the a late entry in the APOL because of the market. I understand. I understand, Lawrence. But don't don't let the market trip you up this year because of the fact that what I said that if things are gonna are good gaps, they're still gonna work and they're gonna work huge despite the market. Don't let the market trip you up. I'm not talking about that one, I'm telling you. I'm talking about the ones that are like, eh, like the ones that are like tss, you know, like the ones that are not that great. Like this kind of thing here. Like this was not a this was this wasn't great. It didn't rate well. Like these are the ones I'm talking about. Like every once in a blue moon, sometimes we'll get something that works that doesn't rate well, and it's like right on the cusp, and then it goes on to work. That's you're not messing around with those this year. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're not going to make excuses for stuff. Same thing with Infi. Now, could you have shorted Infi and made money today? Yes. Would would you have? Probably not. Why? Let's just see what you would have done if you had done this. Again, shorted it here. If you did this, you got stopped out. You would have had to short it again. If you did this, you would have made money. Would it have made back the loss from here? It looks like it would have because of the move that it made, but you would have been down before you were up. Not ideal. Do we do it sometimes? Yes. Is it ideal? No. Do I like to do it every day? No. No. And so that's the thing. Actually, this reverse swooshed. That's why I'm saying this isn't, this isn't going red today. Oops. Where did that go? And I never call a trade in this today because it didn't set up right. All right, I put the watch list in the room for the morning. I'm in this and whatever it does, it does. The BBBY, we just put it out in the universe. This is going to gap down tomorrow and be a beautiful bearish gap. And I put it out in my thought that it was going to swoosh. So let's see what happens, okay? You have to think positive to create the life you want. You've got enough negativity out there in the world. Now you want to work against yourself? Trust me, you have things that you're combating every day when you exist and walk around the planet, wherever you are. Negative energy, people attacking you, things going on all around you. The worst thing you could do is be against yourself. Don't work against yourself in your own mind. You've got no chance then because the universe has to be able to put yourself in a place that you're going to be able to go ahead, move forward, and make it. And you got to stay in a positive space. And if you're not in a positive space, you're not going to attract people into your life to put you in a, to support you to go into a more positive space. Because positive people don't want to be around negative people. It's like, I'm a very positive person. If I get around someone that is negative and complaining, and, and hey, listen, I'm a nice person. You know, sometimes people are down and out. It's like you don't want to be around someone that's constantly, constantly, constantly mean or nasty or negative. It's like I don't want to be around someone like that. You, you have to be able to attract positive people into your life. And in order to do that, you have to be in a positive place yourself. I know it's challenging. I know it's hard. I know we have a bad day or something happens. You get frustrated. Just feel it. Like work through the feeling. Like scream. Scream and get it out and then move on. Like get it out. And then move on. I could open up my window in the 68th floor, scream. No one in New York would hear me. I could scream bloody murder and no one would hear me. They wouldn't even hear me next door because the walls are made of concrete. I could scream and no, no one would hear it. Not even the people above me or on the other side. I'm actually next to the elevator. So no one would hear me. And then I could just move on with my day. Do, 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 do. So just get it out and then move forward in a positive direction if you're frustrated. If you didn't get this today and you're frustrated... You know, and actually, you could you could take this right now. I'm gonna call it Kamikaze for those of you that didn't get it. You want it? Here it goes. When this breaks 35, 35 by 60, I'm calling a Kamikaze, a Kamikaze trade in this. If you didn't get it, to see if it drops to 26. This, I, you know, here. If this breaks 30, 35 by 60, APOL short. It's a Kamikaze scalp to get it wherever it goes. Because if, when this breaks the low of the day, which I believe it was, or I want to be in it, it's going to be breaking through here and getting through 27, the whole number, to just go and go one big red bar, like that. So you could do it. Tight stop, 35 by 60. APOL. For those of you that didn't get it. And if you're running in it, I wouldn't add there because it's, you know, 60 some cents past your entry price. Although if it goes to 27 or 26, you actually could. Here it goes, 35 by 60, kamikaze call, APOL. I'm not doing this. I'm already in it. But the bottom line is if you didn't get this and you're feeling frustrated with your life, you could do it. Here it goes. It's going to hit 1024, 1030 reversal time. You could take the straight. It's worth it because the risk reward is massive. Here it goes. It just hit. There he goes. It just hit and it's going to break the low of the day. 
Stop is 60. If you just did it, tight, 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 tight stop, and this is worth it, this could be three hours in a millisecond and more than that if it goes to 26, although I have no idea if it's going to get down there. The next number, once it breaks 27, is 2680. This is not going to go to 27 and not break 27 now, though, because of where it is at the low of the day and the time of the day and the length of tanking time this is taking. And this is really not actually even rallying. This has not done anything wrong. It can't even get a breath of life, and this is going to go. Look at the market. Put, I don't, again, I know you don't, try a hockey, 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 hockey. Try a hockey or this, here, right now, this just booped up. You would have got filled. Did you leave it sit there? It just made an uptick. Boop. It just did it. Did you have the order there? You could do a hockey or you have the order there. It just did an uptick. It went boop, right there. It's at 40, 42 now. Did you leave it? Okay. All right. You got filled. That's what you got to do. All right. Let's go over here and just see this. Yeah, this is crazy. Mark is just going to run all day. Mark can actually go way over 205. This is insanity, but I love it. Look, forget it. No pullback at all here today now. I thought this would pull back at 205. It's not not going to do it. This is a marketable power trend forever, forever and ever and ever. All right, let's just stay here. Okay, so that was the watches for tonight. Let me see what's tomorrow. A couple of things tomorrow, but nothing I'm in love with. So I'm not even going to go over them. The real ones to watch are tonight's. Let me see what JCP is doing. Nothing. Look at this. Target. Kind of scanning everything here. Pod went to the target $40, but by the time it broke, it just went right down to the target. You can't reshort this. I'd leave it be. That did work out. I, did you do that, Tony, or not? I, I didn't call the pod. Uh, ooh, look at this one here. Weep. Some news out in Coca Cola. I mean, look at this. Does anyone have any questions at all? Any questions, just waiting for APOL to go to the dream target uh, with what I have left. And then the rest of it is, I was just going to go over the market. Does anyone want to talk about anything or anything at all? Again, this is why you have to understand gaps. I think a lot of traders would have looked at this as a novice gap today. What do I mean by that? I mean the stock was down one, two, three, four, five, five days in a row and gap down big down in here. So people would look at this and they would say, well, this is going to be a buy today because it's, it just ran down five days in a row and gap down big. It's, this is called a novice gap, but that's a name that somebody made up. It's not something that actually really exists in the market as a strategy. It's, it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't work. And I know sometimes it works, but the reason that it works is not because of the reason people think that it works, which is not, which is this kind of thing. So anyways, the reality is we looked at the correct directional bias for this, which was what do we do with it? It's gapping down. Does this mean it's going to be bought today? Does this mean it's a short today? How do we know? We rate the gap. We rate the gap, and I rated the gap, and the gap rated 21 points. Okay. So because the gap rated 21 points, I decided it's a good short. All right. Yeah, let me look at this here now. No, yeah, it just went over 60. If you just did that kamikaze call and had to stop at 60, you got to be out. You got to be out. You should have had the stop in. Who all did it? Trader Girl did it. Anyone else? <laughs> you don't like to do late ones. I'm still in the piece that I have of it. If, you, if you've lost conviction that it's going to continue, you could kill it. It's up to you. I think Ed said he moved the stop over this bar here. Ed, I don't know where exactly you put it at, 90, 85, or whatever. Ed said he moved it over here. Anyways, what was I saying? The reason this works so smoothly today, okay, is because it really didn't have a lot of pushback uh, from, from anyone. Now, I do think this did make an attempt to get bought in here today but not that much. I think a lot of traders just didn't do this today. And the ones that did were looking to buy it. But this didn't have a lot of pushback. It worked really actually quite smooth. So I don't think there was a lot of people making an attempt to buy this today. 
So it worked very smoothly initially out of the gate. And whether or not you want to hold this into the afternoon or not is up to you. But no one should have a stop over 2850, the original stop anymore. I don't think it should go over the whole number, so I have it at 2805. Original entry was a little bit over 90 for me. So I will just take it as it comes. If you did this here and shorted this kamikaze, it failed. It actually failed in here, broke, broke 36, hit 35, flipped over not only 55 but 60 as well. And see here, this is also why you use stops. If you didn't have a stop in, and you sized it originally for 60, look, it's 20 cents over it. But, you know, it was a kamikaze. It still could have broke. I mean, I still think it's going to break or I wouldn't still be in it. There's something else I was going to say, too. What was I talking about? Oh, this is real skill to see that this gap was going to drop today like this. This is real skill in here. Okay? If we hadn't gotten this, if I hadn't seen this or done it, we wouldn't have had anything to do today. If it didn't work out. We could have gone on the market, but I'm not so sure I would have done that today. I hate to tell you, Diane, but this could have another entry in here and we set up again. I'm sure that you won't want to do it, but I hate to tell you, but this is going to set up in the 15 minute now. Let me just look at the 30. And, and I don't think that I'm taking any more trades today. I'm just going to hold this through, but the way this rally just took place here is setting up in the 15. This is trying to squish on top of this, and this is trying to squish on top of this. Ed still has half of it. All right. Um, so happy we got this today. I'm sorry some of you didn't and then didn't do anything. The market was a good long I said you could do. I didn't do the market, but I think it's a good rule for me to just focus on one directional bias, whether it's long or short. But you could have gone long the market today and shorted APOL, and a couple of you did. Well, let's just see here. I have a stop at 28.05, and that's it. Calling it a day after it boops over that. Let's just see what this does. Oh, that's it. Well, that was the right thing to do. Look, no, it's done. And I'm not saying this could not set up in the 15 minute, but this isn't right now. I'm out. I'm out of the rest of it. Positive on the day, though. Here, let's just go over the whole thing. You know, that, 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 you know what, this should have worked. This should have worked here when this hit. It should have. Market's too strong. All right, let's go over it. Okay, so I shorted this here. Boom. Stop in, dropped. Rallied up, could have taken more. I didn't. I kept, you know, the piece that I have on the, had on this initially. Actually, when this dropped down in here, I did get out of some of it. Let it rally back. You could have added more in. This isn't that far away from the original price. Dropped again. What's the right thing to do? Get out of some more of it. Okay. Rallied up. Came down. You're waiting, waiting, waiting. I said here you could have gotten out of the rest of it because of the fact that basically it did not break a new low. But I really thought that it would. Based and based and based and based. Lower the stop because of the time of the day. Lower the stop here. Just got taken out of the rest. Okay, so it was a nice trade, and we played it as good as we could have. And everyone should be up that did it. All right, any questions from anyone else about this? I think we're going to continue to do that. You could have put the stop at break even, but I felt it needed to be over 28. It didn't really matter, though. It aggressively rallied over 28. This still could set up in the 15 minute. If you're positive on the day in this, which you should be if you took it, then you could reshort it, but know that you're in this then against a bullish market in the afternoon, and that's not ideal circumstances. So it's not something I'm going to do. I'm just not going to do that. Okay. Any questions from anyone else about anything? We're going to watch BBBY tonight. APOL was a great trade today. Market was a good call today. Any other questions? Let's go over the market. Let's go over, well, let's just go over the SPY first. So every day in here is like, hmm, one of these days, one of these days. And I was really surprised here on this day on the 6th. This was Monday. Was it Monday? No, it was Tuesday. I don't remember. Anyways, I was surprised here that the market actually ran this far down on this day. We did not break this area. We didn't. 
Uh, we didn't retest it and we didn't break it, but I was surprised we fell all that way and whatever we did. Market gapped up then yesterday, and I said I thought we'd hold, and we did. We did. We held in this area. We held in an area that, that was real, okay? And I felt really a high level of conviction market would gap up today, and that is what it did. It actually gapped up quite a lot. Market closed last night the 202.23. Market gapped up almost $2 today. Beautiful. Market gapped up. Look at that. Beautiful. And has nowhere to go but up now. Nowhere to go but up, and people that exited their longs here and here and here and all in here and people that shorted up here I mean people are still not going to give up on this people are still not going to give up on shorting this market people still think the market's going to crash this year and I wrote in that email that it's not and look at this this is a beautiful market it's January 8th it's only like a couple trading days less than a week into the year of the trading days and the market is already is having a beautiful significant move it has retraced today in the gap up and the rally this morning more than 50 percent of the drop down it had in this one week a week that was happening over a holiday anyways it didn't really have any meeting people are back they're back at it the people that count and they are moving the market and you've got to know what to read and Philip said the other day the market's getting creamed somebody else said the market's dropping like a brick that's not how I read any of this I know that sounds hysterical because we did actually drop, we did actually drop from the first drop in here to 208. We did actually drop $10, but I didn't look at this as anything bearish. That sounds crazy because of the, it was $10, and I also, you know, see the red, but I just didn't think there was anything important, and it, and it wasn't, and it's not. So, again, it's about reading the institutional positioning. The one that we were talking about yesterday, which was it, JCP, this is an important lesson. You know, something can happen that is money, okay? But it's not the real people that are in charge. And you have to know how to read that. The only way that you can tell is gaps. I mean, that's the bottom line. Now, I can tell when I see something live because I'm really, really good at, like, seeing it. But that's, like, not something I can teach you. I can teach you about gaps, though. And that's how I got good at seeing it. But the fact is that, you know... The only way that you would know to differentiate from anything that's happened and transpired in the last two weeks is as understanding gaps the way I do. Otherwise, you would see that red and a $10 drop in the market and you would panic if you were in a long or you might short if you wanted to short and think the market was really going to crash and come in. And if you don't understand how to read gaps, you don't know what to do with this or you think the market's coming in and you think it's extended. The only way to know to differentiate between who's in charge or not is gaps. That is the only way. And you need to know which ones are good and which ones are not good to do. You have to know because there was bearish gaps that happened in the market in the last week and they weren't good enough to be doing anything that was significant for the market to break and I knew that okay so the reality is that you the only way to know is not really reading the level two not really reading anything else it's it's reading the gap and analyzing it. you were analyzing that gap like you were going into surgery you said this is we have a case here this person look at this they have something wrong with them here we have to figure this out we got to do an operation on this guy should we do this or should we do that? We have to figure it out. This is very, very serious. And you sit down, you analyze everything before you cut the person open and operate on them. Okay? And that's kind of how it is with the market. This is like serious stuff, and you have to analyze it very particularly, and that's why I look at 26 things. I mean, whether I look at 26 things or 27 things or 5,500 things, 26 things is a lot of things to look at. What most people are looking at one or two or three. And what most people are looking at is indicators to determine whether or not they should be doing something or they're looking at the higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows to determine a trend and those do not determine a trend. The only thing that is correct thing is going to give you any level of information on a sophisticated high advanced level of information is gaps because it's the only thing that tells you what really is happening with the institutional positioning and because you could see bars that have a certain color and you could think because of the color or the length of the color that it has a meaning but it doesn't and how would you know the only way you would know is if you understood gaps. And you would read the gap that happened on the day or the gaps in the chart. And that's the only way you're going to tell. And that's why people get confused. And even people are trading for years and years and years and years and years, years and years get confused. And that's why Ken, you know, is sold out of some of his lungs. And he's asking me, well, how do you know, Melissa? How do you know? How do you know? And he's been trading for more years than I'm even alive. So the thing is that I know because of gaps. The SPY is going to 300 this year. It'll be the best call I've ever made in my life. I sent out an email to 15,000 people. Some of you read it. Some of you didn't. You can go along the market right here. Here, you can go along the market right here. 
right here. You go on the market right here. This is a kamikaze as well, but it's actually really a 15 minute. 205.26, you go along the market with a stop at 204.90. If it hits in a 15 minute chart, I wait not for the five and go along the market. Target's $2 from there. 207. You can go along the market at 205.26 with a stop under 204.90. The spy. Market may not pull in at all today. You were creamed? Why were you creamed? If you were in the market long with the maximum stop, you were not creamed when the market came in. In fact, I think it came in to the level here. I'm just going to check now for Philip because he's He's whining here. I'm just going to look it up. What was the, I did that swing trade letter in the market call. And I forget what I put as a maximum level resistance, but I know it didn't hit it. Let me just look it up. To go back all the way to November. Anyone else have any other questions while I'm looking this up for Philip? Because he was long the market and he killed it. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in today. Get back in today. This is a buy point in the market. Go long. The, this is a buy point in the market today. Why are you even asking me? Oh my gosh. Here. Actually, hold on. I don't know if this was it or not. I didn't even, this, this didn't even hit anywhere near the maximum level. In fact, it hit the first level. This was the, Philip, are you listening to me? This was the minimum level of support in the SPY. This was the minimum level of support. Did you look at the email? I'm talking about the SPY of the Qs. Gosh. Man, I was really right about this too. I didn't even look at this level. Hold on. Let me just look at the cues. See now Braulio did it too, but he got out like the first at the first target. So he didn't even sweat a bullet. What was the first level I gave of support in the QQQs 99? 99. Go look at the letter I sent you. The first level of support in the queues was 99. It didn't even hit it, and you killed the trade. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how you even sized yourself, Philip. This is why we're going to do the mentoring session. And for those of you that signed up for that, we're going to, we're going to schedule that in the next two weeks for everybody that signed up for that. I'm putting it on my calendar. This did not even hit. This, this didn't even stop out in the first level of support I gave you, and I told you to use a maximum. This didn't even hit the first. Why would you? Didn't you read the letter? Why would you kill it? If you're going to sign up for the swing trade letter, you have to do what it says. That didn't even hit the first level. First level, 99. Did it even touch 99? No, didn't even touch it. Wasn't even near it. Wasn't even close. Forget, I when I am getting in here and I'm in the morning, I'm talking about what the market's going to do in the day. That has nothing to do with the swing trade you're in. I'm looking at the market to say, what is it going to do today? Because I day trade. I want to know, where is the market headed today? For me, Melissa, to do something in my day trades, do I have to be concerned about the market? Do I not care about the market? Am I going to have the market with me all day long? I can hold somebody to a dream target. And do I have to scalp something out as a day trade because i got the market against me so aggressively, which, by the way, you do today. That has nothing to do with the swing trade letter. I did a swing trade on the market as the first one. It is in play. It is still in play. It's the biggest call that I've ever called, and all of you are out of it already. It's like, it's like, what? I'm like, seriously. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just got to laugh. Fear, 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 fear. Fear works against you. Fear, fear works against you in life. Fear works against you in business. Fear works against you in love. Fear works against you in personal relationships. And fear works against you in finances and money. And when you are in fear, when you are in fear, you will not make the right decision because your decision will be based on fear. Your decision will not be based on 
the correct decision. The knowledge, the information, the information I gave you, which I gave you, and you didn't follow. Why? Because you were in fear. I gave you information. I gave you the exact numbers. You exited the train. Why? Fear. Here, you go along the market right here. QQQs and go long right in here. This is a buy position right here. It's a day trade right now. Right here, SPY, 205.26, you go long, it's going to hit. Stop is 204.90 in the SPY, it is going to hit. It's going to go to 206, 207. Right now, this is a good call. 15-minute buy setup in the market. If the QQQ is in the SPY, if you want to go long, and I'm not doing this. My day is today, QL. Well. I shorted the great gap today, but this is setting up right here, right now. No, it didn't hit a recommended stop level. That's what I'm saying, Diane. The minimum... The teeny weeny support was 99. The QQQs did not even hit it. And I didn't even go back and look at that letter. I didn't even go back and look at it. I just knew the market was going to continue. And here, you can buy this. There you go. There's a long in the spy. Market will not pull it. This is it. This is the pull in. One little teeny weeny, one squishy little sandwich doji in the spy. You want to, what? Look, this is beautiful. I mean, this can't get any better than if, it, if I dreamed it, which I did. Uh, you still have a long position in the market, Bralio. I thought you told me you got out, but good job. Good job, Bralio. If you're still in it, I know you took the first one. Hold it. Corey doesn't see the charts. Oh, crap. I took them off. I'm sorry. That's because I was looking something up. I, I had them off on all day there. You should have told me earlier. No, nothing here to stop, Trader Girl. Nothing at all. I'm talking about this swing trade letter. For the market I did. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, this is going to set up again. Boy, if you really wanted to get nuts with your life, you could actually short this again in here, but I'm not going to do it. You could short the 71 with a stop at 28, 28, 10. You could do 71 by 28, 10 in the 15 minute. I am not doing that, but I, I still think it's going to break the low. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm like, it's just like my day is done, but I really, seriously, I wouldn't put it past it, but look at this. No, I rated APOL. All right, there's too many different questions here. APL, I rated, I rated 21 points. It was a great short. We did it today. I was talking about the market swing trade letter long that I called. Philip was in it and killed it the other day. And he's getting confused because I talked about the market in the morning. I talked about the market in the morning for what it's going to do today. It has nothing to do with the overnight. I gave you the targets. I gave you the support levels. You take the trade. You have to know where you're getting out of it or if you're going to hold it for a certain amount of time to a next level. That's what I was talking about. Braulio, I thought you took it out. But I guess you're still in it and good job. Sorry, I didn't have the charts up, Corey. I was looking up something. I sent out on the email. I found it, and look at this market. Why didn't I go along this market today? I know, because I have a new rule. I'm only going one direction on a day, but this was good to do. This is huge. Look at this. This is, like, fantastic. Anyways, does anyone have any questions? So I had done that email. If you didn't read it, go back and read it. Ken said he never got it. I'm going to have to forward it to him again. The SPY is going to 300 this year. Boom, that's it. And it's going to be a fantastic year to trade. It's going to be the best year to ever to trade, to day trade ever, since I've ever traded. It's going to be the best year to day trade with volatility. If you know what to do, you're going to, you're going to make a lot of money this year. And if you don't know what to do, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. And people that made money last year will lose this year because they think they know what they're doing. And this is going to be a hard market to trade if you don't know what you're doing and an easy market to trade if you do. And it is always the case. It is always a way, except for this year is going to be different. This year is going to have huge, 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 massive opportunity for people to know what to do. And lucky you people that have done the class that are in here because if you listen to me, which some of you don't, I don't know what to say, but if you do, you are going to have a good year. And if you don't listen to what I say and you're here anyways, then you have to look at yourself in the mirror. I don't know. Yes, it's you, Philip. It's you. We'll have the mentoring sessions in the next week. I'm going to email the people and sign up. There's going to be a time slot. You take the time slot and we're going to do it. <sighs> Sometimes I call two or more things and you can't get them filled at the same time. The top pick. Today was easy. Today was easy because there was two main picks and I never called the one. So I never called an entry in Infi. I only called an entry in APOL. It's only hard the days I have two top picks and they both set up the same time and call them the same time and I don't get them then both either. I can't because I don't have the jiggy and the level two for one thing at a time. But I'm saying if you, if I, today was easy because there was only one thing I ever did or called of the two that we were watching, if we never set up. 
You lost. You never lost conviction in the market. You wanted to position yourself yesterday, but the account you want to be using your swing trades was not ready. All right. Trader girl, I want you to turn that around. Turn that thought around right now. I always make the right choice. I always do the correct trade. I always do the one that works. I, trader girl, am going to get up tomorrow morning and have a fabulous positive trade. I'm going to have a 6R trade tomorrow when I get up. I'm going to do everything right. I'm going to pick the right one. I, trader girl, always pick the right one. I, trader girl, I'm going to have a fabulous year for 2015. I'm going to get up tomorrow sharp as a tack, have my coffee, sit down, ready to go. I'm going to go to sleep tonight and dream of making $1,500 tomorrow because I deserve it. <laughs> I, the, I didn't give advice to anyone to look at JCPenney first today. So if you did this before APOL, that was your own accord. I know you like to do continuations, but the fact is earnings season starts Monday and we prefer new gaps. The two watches today were empty. It never set up. I never called it. I never did it. And APOL, which set up right away, is why, why, why did it do it? Five minutes before the open, I said, what is the similarity? What is the commonality? What is the one thing? One thing that, here, this is setting up again and I'm not doing it. Right in here, seven, you can put the stop at 2810. 2810, right in here. APOL, short if you want to do it. I am not doing this. I bet this breaks the low of the day. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, my Lanta. I'm not doing it. But this is going to still go into work. I'm not doing it, though, again. We did the right thing. We played it out. Morning, done. But this is going to break the low of the day. Look. Anyways, the commonality, what we wanted to see, how did everything have to set up today is exactly what happened in what? Only one APOL. And this is not always the case. It's not always the case. There's many, many days I get up and I say, wait a minute. Mm -mm -mm. This thing has to rally first. But I didn't say that today. Listen to what I say in the morning before we trade. But I, what I, that thing that I see, I'm in that zone, I'm in that, I'm in that spontaneous enlightenment period in the morning when I rate my gaps and I talk about what somebody needs to do. I say, uh, 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 and just listen to what I say, okay? I don't like FDO. Market's huge today. Go aggressively long the market. Big target in the market today. Every bearish gap has to break early out of the gate today because of the, where they're all gapping. What did it? One thing. You do it. I did say JCP. I had JCP up over here, but I didn't say it was a top watch. I said you can watch this today. If it doesn't go over eight, you can short it. And actually, you could still be in it. You could have still been in it. You could still be in it. This isn't going over eight. It's not going over eight today. JCPenney will close red today. I don't know if it breaks 750. You could still be in this short and just sit here and sit and sit and sit and sit and sit. This still is in play from what I said it would need to do. I said just short it and put the stop over eight. And you're still in it. You're just sitting here waiting. But, you know, look at that and look at the market. Look at that and look at the market. Look at this and look at the market. You can still be in it. No, Philip. If you're talking about, are you talking about a day trade or a swing trade here? What, what do you, stop. If you are up money today, don't do anything else. If you did not go on the market this morning, you would be doing this as a scalp. And if you don't know how to do a scalp, don't do it. If you do this here, this is a scalp. And, and I think because you're all over the place, you should just lay low. And we talked about this before. Your job is to do exactly what I'm doing because you got to get yourself situated in your head about some of these things. Just follow me. And I'm not, I'm not in the market long. Now, could you have gone long the market? Yes. Could you have gone this call I just made here? Yes. But you have some other things working on in your brain. You got to work that stuff out. Okay. If you're in this here on the 15 minute, the stop is 204.90. Okay. All right. Good job today, everybody. Uh, some did better than others. Whenever you have a chance to read my email, you understand I was able to set up an account for swing trades. If 100% conviction, it'll be an amazing year. Position myself to take advantage of the market. Thank you for today's lesson. Great calls. Okay, Braulio, I will read your email later. Uh, and maybe we can talk on the phone this week. I think it's important. Uh, there's something else I was going to say, and I forget what. Shoot. This is, look at this. This is going to break 27. You have got to be kidding me. This is how this stock trades. Actually, I thought this was actually traded so nicely this morning. This is normally like this, herky-jerky and whippy. 
Actually, it was so nice this morning. I almost forgot how whippy it can be. But this is still going to go on to work. You're welcome, John. Thank you, Great Calls, Melissa. You're welcome, Tony. All right, so everybody watch BBBY tonight. Everybody watch BBBY tonight. I don't know what it's going to do. I guess we'll find out. Email me if you're interested in the Golden Gap class. It's this weekend, Saturday, and Sunday. For the new people that are in here in the trial, if you have any questions, email me. Everyone should have had a solid, solid day today. If you didn't because of varied circumstances, didn't trade the trade, missed the trade, couldn't get it short, did the wrong thing, have amnesia and get up tomorrow morning and we'll get something good, okay? Just let it go. Open up the door and scream and move on and you'll get it tomorrow. It's not like we're not going to get it tomorrow. The one good thing about being here with me is if for some reason one day you don't have a bad day, I'm here every day with you. And, you know, if you have a bad day or miss something one day, the chances of you making it up the next day are high. So just relax. You're just getting back into it, off for two weeks with the holiday. And me, myself, too. You know, it's time to get situated here, get serious. But the market is really, really, really something. This is going to be the probably the most, one of the biggest calls I've ever made so far. But I will make bigger and better calls as my life goes on because I'm still going to keep trading and doing stuff like this. This is a fantastic thing to say and a very gutsy move. A very gutsy thing to say is say the spy is going to go 300 this year. No one is saying that. you got to pick the right things to go along, though. All right, have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Any questions, email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. The mentor people, I will. Oh, I just put short. Look, I just put swish short. <laughs> Hold on. That was like a Freudian slip there. Hold on. This is my email, not short. <laughs> oh, I'm going to buy a crown soon. Oh, well, I'll wear the crown every day. Boy, would that be funny. That would be, no one would see me though, so then what would be the point? I'd be the only person that would see myself. All right, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.